Hey everyone, it's James and Jazz. We are so excited to bring you this video. It is a legs instructional video featuring a product that we are so excited about. So I'm going to let James take over and have him share all the information. All right, so here I have in the bag, there it's on the ground, but this product is called Monkey Feet. It's by Animal House Fitness. Um, and it's amazing because if you train, if you work out at home and you want to get a good legs workout in or abs, where you add weight to your abs, this is a great product. So it comes in this, in a big box and then it comes inside this bag. So I just wanted to show that to y'all. And it's really awesome because what happens is the dumbbell clips in here and then you set your foot inside, which I'll show you in a second, but just want to let y'all, you all know. I am not, we're not sponsored by Animal House Fitness, by Monkey Feet. Um, this is just a product we saw on Instagram and we were like, I want that. So I reached out to them and said, hey, I would love to film a video for James and Jazz. They loved our channel, they loved our workouts. And they said, absolutely, we'll send you a couple for free. So they sent us these for free and I am shouting them out because I believe in the product. I think it's a great product. So um, this very much reminds me of a snowboarding, um, a snowboarding, uh, Ski boot, even? ski boot thing. I don't really ski boot or snowboarding, how you can lock your feet in. So you can actually have your shoes on when you're using it. And then you're just going to pull on this and that releases it. So just pulling on this lever right here will release it. So I want to show how to put it on. I'm just going to grab an eight pounder. I'm not trying to push too hard. So here's the eight pounder. And when this opens, it will lock in the dumbbell. I didn't find any videos that really showed that very well, so I wanted to make sure that I show that. So here it's open. I'm going to scoop, scoop the dumbbell like this, and then it locks on. So when I put my foot in, it's not going to open up because my foot's fastened in. Yeah, so, it's really secure. Yeah, so if you have a 45-pound weight, I saw a dude doing 45-pound leg curls with these. I was like, dang, that dude is bold, um, but it's not going to fall out because your feet actually lock it in. So I'm putting my feet in and now I'm going to ratchet this thing down. So when you, when you pull on this, that ratchets it down. So you can get it to whatever kind of tightness you want. Make sure it's in there nice and secure. Whoops, I, I hit the one that releases. You He's see, demonstrating how to release. Yeah, you can see how easy it releases, which is awesome. Yeah. So it's in there nice and secure. That dumbbell is not coming out. Um, so this is great because you can do all kinds of leg exercises as we're going to show you guys in a second. So this is an instructional video. It's not a full length workout. We're just going to show you how you can use some monkey feet at home. I believe these are like $75. So if you go to animalhousefitness.com, you can find them there, or you can go to their Instagram page, which is Animal House Fit. So we're gonna start with a seated leg press, and or leg extension, I'm sorry. So Jazz is going to face you to show you. I'm gonna face this way. Now what I find to work well, and you'll see Jazz doing it easier than me, is taking your hand, putting it underneath your hamstring, your hands underneath your hamstring, you're gonna get that foot, just have that toe just barely tapping on the ground, and then you're just going to extend like that and then tap that foot back down, extend, hold for a second, back down, tap, extend. Yes. This is a great way to isolate those quads. I know that will really help push. We can push harder on leg day. Yeah. We're isolating here, building it up. Yeah. And we do, we do some leg workouts here at home. So it's really nice to have this because we can do so much more stuff than just the basic stuff with dumbbells. But you think so. about it, and at home for leg day, all you can really do is body weight squats mm -hmm. and lunges and maybe deadlifts, leg kickbacks. Straight leg deadlifts and some, yeah. Yes. It's just not being able to attach things to your feet is just a real problem. So, um, this is awesome. <laughs> yeah. So then we also have just another modification. So that was quads. That's training those, those big quad muscles. That's the biggest muscle yes. in your body, y'all. Yes. Unless your heart's really big. Oh, that was cheesy. <laughs> All right, so leg extent, standing leg extension. So Jazz, I'm gonna help you out. Right. You probably wanna lean against something. So Jazz is going to demonstrate. I believe you just wanted to demonstrate. Oh, I was gonna one. demonstrate this. Okay, my but bad. But I can rest. So That's standing fine. leg extension. I'm just going to lean against this dumbbell rack. I'm just gonna bring my leg up so it's parallel to the ground and I can hold the leg. That's fine for me to hold the leg because I'm not trying to train anything down. I'm not trying to hit hip flexors right now. I'm trying to hit the quad. So I can hold the leg, 
and just extend like that. Look at that. Or you can not hold it, but then I feel like it's going to drag down a little bit, and then you're going to be doing hip flexors and quads. Like more sloppy. So to hold it is nicer. Yeah. To isolate it, it's like a hinge. So you're only mm -hmm. doing movement from your knee down. And then we have a lying leg extension, which Jazz can do with me. I'm just going to bring this off to the side. Perfect. Hopefully it's not going to be in the way. Okay. I'm sure I'm stepping off screen, but... All right, so lying leg extension. Just going to lean back okay. on, your, on your elbows. Your, your knees are bent. And you're going to bring that opposite leg that doesn't have the uh, monkey feet on it. Bring it out a little bit so you don't end up hitting it against your foot when you come down. You're just going to extend up and then back down slow. Barely tap the dumbbell on the ground and extend back up. Whew, definitely works. <sighs> Yeah. These are so cool. Make sure, obviously, you're doing your other leg. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, make sure you're doing both legs. And the cool thing is, if we weren't trying to share the exercises, I could have both of them on. I've had both of them on before, and it's, you're just standing on a dumbbell. It's not a big deal. And I could literally do one leg at a time, whatever I'm doing, then put that one down. Yeah. And then I could do the other one. It's, it's a not new like style it's of high heel for weightlifters. That's right, ladies. Come on. Or men, hey, men are wearing high heels now too with the, with the dumbbells. All right, so we have, uh, now we have standing leg curls. So Jazz is gonna lean against, I think, you, I don't know how you were gonna do it that way. Yep. And I'll just face this way. And it's just, you're gonna tap that foot on the ground, that, top, that toe on the ground, and then you're just extending to your butt. Down slow, nice, slow, and controlled. You're really gonna feel that muscle working. This is a hamstring exercise. Yes, it is. <laughs> and your hamstrings will let you know. Yes, it is. If you want to know what body part is working, you just have to tune into what body part is screaming at you. Yeah. It burns. So that's up nice and slow, down nice and slow. Barely tap that two on the ground and then proceed to go back up. And then we also have a incline. I'm going to grab this bench and this go, where, is so cool. go where Jasmine is. I just moved my light. Maybe Jasmine can turn the light back toward us. All it, right. <sighs> So, sorry y'all, it's a little bit awkward walking in these. <laughs> just like it's awkward walking in ski boots. <laughs> just like that. So here, this that one I found, true. this one I found to be really cool. I saw somebody doing it on the monkey feet Instagram. So you're just leaning against the bench. I notice I slid up a little bit, so there's a little bit of distance here. I'm holding onto the bench, down slow, and up. And no, I did not rip, I did not break wind. <laughs> that was the bench. Oh, good. Woo. So that's great. It's a great way to isolate that hamstring muscle just by putting it up against the incline bench. So then next we have the hip flexor kicks. Mm-hmm. Trade places with you. Yep. Woo. Or a runway walk in Exactly. <laughs> so hip flexor kicks. Jazz can maybe do it forward, I don't know, or well, I don't know. So it's, yeah, I guess I can face this way. It's fine because they're yeah. getting a side angle. So opposite hand, opposite foot. So when I'm Kicking this leg forward, I'm bringing this hand up. So looks like this. Hold for a second. Nice, slow, and controlled. Also a good balance exercise. Yeah. Obviously, again, as Jazz said before, you're always going to need to do the other leg as well, but that's hitting that hip flexor right there. Hip flexor kicks. Phenomenal exercise, also known as weighted sprinters. They're known as, known as sprint, uh, sprinters as well. So great hip flexor exercise. Um, next, we'll do a standing, standing outer thigh kicks. And Jazz, do you want that? I'll just bring it in quickly for stability. Yep. You can always bring in a, a chair if you've got one at home that you'd like to use for yep. balance. So outer thigh kicks. You're just kicking straight out to the side because we're trying to really focus on that outer thigh. So, look like this. I'm leaning over here a little bit against the dumbbells. Sorry, babe. You don't have very good stability there, do you? No, the bench isn't really working for balance yeah. on the mat. So, I feel that in the outer thigh. I'm also feeling that a little bit in the glutes as well. So, great exercise. And I know Jazz wanted to show us another one. So, I'm going to move yeah. this. It's not very... So, obviously, we just did the sides. 
But if you angle back, more of a 45 oh. degree angle, and I'm not trying to put a, put hole, a, hole, in a hole in our wall. <laughs> This will really work your glutes as and you well. You can even face the bench too if you want to show it that way. So obviously we just did side straight out. Man, this balance is very interesting. Yeah. And then that you could go back for 45 degree angles and it just gets a little bit more that glute. of isolation right here as opposed to the outer thigh. Yeah. So feeling it a lot more in the glutes when you do it that Definitely. way. Definitely. So then we have fire hydrants. You can just push that bench out a little bit. Fire hydrants, the focus is having bent knees. Uh, your, your knees are bent, you're on your knees, and you're gonna have a bent leg the whole time. I don't want to go this way. So we're just on all fours, and then you're just coming like this. It's a little bit awkward. It's gonna feel like that dumbbell is gonna kick you in the back of the head. Nice coming and controlled. Really going slow and steady helps you get the maximum benefit. If you're using momentum to kick your leg out with any of these exercises, you're kind of missing out on some of the benefit. Whoops, I straightened it. Woo. I keep straightening my knee, but you're not supposed to. You're supposed to keep that knee bent. Like a 90 degree angle, yep. ideally. Yep. Obviously, I don't do these, so I'm not that great at the Very form. Good. Okay, so that one, fire hydrants, it's another great one for glutes and butt, all that good stuff. Now we're gonna do glute kickbacks. And uh, what did I do? A, a fire, that was glute kickbacks, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. We did fire hydrants earlier, that one was glute kickbacks, I apologize. Oh no, we didn't do fire hydrants. We didn't. Sorry y'all, I, I did the wrong one. So <laughs> fire hydrants, we just showed you glute kickbacks on, a, on accident. So fire hydrants, you're just bringing that leg out to the side. Still a bent leg. Almost, you know, they call it fire hydrant because an animal, you know, dogs pee on the fire hydrant. So you're peeing right now. Pee! <laughs> pee! <laughs> I can't do these when I'm left. <laughs> so that's fire hydrants. My apologies, I mixed them up. And then glute kickbacks is what, what we just showed before that. It looks like this, yep. keeping that knee bent. And then the final one is reverse leg lifts. And I'm going to just have Jazz demonstrate these because I don't want to knock over some stuff that I have behind me. If I can remember. Are you okay? Okay, I'll do it. I'll switch you. Uh. So glute kickbacks. You're going to keep a straight leg. Why don't you go over there, honey? Okay. I'm in your way, babe. So it's going to look like this. Barely tap that foot on the ground. Keeping that leg straight. Perfect. So that's definitely going to be something that you're going to feel in those glutes as well. So we showed you a lot of exercises, seated leg extension, yes. standing leg extension, lying leg extension, all for quads, standing leg curls, inclined bench leg curls, great hamstring exercises, hip flexor kicks or weighted, weighted sprinters for those hip flexors, standing outer thigh kicks for those outer thighs, a little bit of glute, Fire hydrants, again, on the ground, bent knees coming out to the side, peeing on that fire hydrant. That's gonna hit some glutes as well. A little bit of that butt, of course. Um, glute kickbacks for the glutes and then reverse leg lifts for the glutes as well. So ladies, gentlemen, I ain't trying to single out just the ladies, gentlemen, I'm trying to build a butt. So this stuff's great. A lot of that stuff there at the end was great for building up the butt. Um, and just really helping to define the legs. These are going to help you to do that at home. Again, I, we don't make any money off these. I'll, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I asked. I was like, hey, do y'all have a promo code or do you have an affiliate program? I'd love to promote these and make some money off of them because we're hoping that y'all are going to want to buy them and, and work out with them because this is a product that is incredible. And it's they're like, so nice. They're like, for the whole first year, we're not providing any promo codes. We're not doing any affiliate programs. So because it's brand new and they know that they can sell them. They're phenomenal. So like I said, 75 bucks, animalhousefitness.com. You can go to their Instagram page, Animal House Fit. They didn't even tell me to promote their website or anything either. They're awesome. They just yes. were like, we'd love to have, have you promoting it on your, on your, on your uh, James and Jazz Physically Fit videos section. And I know a lot of you have dumbbells at home maybe to already do arms. Like ladies, I just have a five pound dumbbell in my monkey feet. And that was plenty. My legs were burning. So it's not like you have to go out and get 30 pound dumbbells. This is awesome to be able to utilize equipment that you already have at home.
Yeah. So. so go check them out, y'all. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, again, this was a legs instructional video. Hopefully you took some notes. You went and ordered yourself some monkey feet from Animal House Fitness, and you're going to try these exercises out. When you do that, please leave us a comment and say, hey, I tried out these exercises. Man, it's rocking my legs. It's awesome. Yes. <laughs> and, and then you can probably curse at us two days later because you're so sore because they say two days after your leg workout is the most, you're the most sore. Don't curse at us, though. We don't oh. like curse words. <laughs> um, but uh, thanks for joining us. We do not just do fitness videos. If you go to jamesandjazz.com, click on that videos tab, and you're going to see three different sections. We have spiritual videos that we put up on Monday. We've done a lot of topical stuff on spirituality, uh, on our faith as Christians, and then also a Bible study with us on, in that spiritually, spiritual video section. So check that stuff out. We're in the book of John as we film right now. And then you're also going to see the second tab under videos is physically fit videos. So we've done workout, full length workout videos with dumbbells, resistance bands. We've done a little bit of kettlebell stuff, full length workouts. We've done cardio in place, a lot of high intensity interval training, full length workouts. And then of course we have instructional videos with dumbbells, kettlebells, resistance bands. So you can just take notes and work out on your own. And then finally, that third section on videos is life and relationship videos where we talk about what's going on in our life. We've been filming taking a lot of videos here lately. They're going to be coming up very soon of our cat that we're getting in the future. That's Woo! life. That's our fur baby that we're going to be getting here in a couple weeks. We're super excited about that, but also stuff about our wedding, our honeymoon, different things like that, that we're going to be getting up as well. Um, what's going on in the life of James and Jasmine, and also it's life and relationships. So we talk about relationships, uh, mistakes. Maybe we made in, in the past when we were dating, um, not she and I, but when we're dating others and just talking about this the reality of relationships and how to help you in relationships and how to make sure that you know that you're marrying the right person, making a spouse, future spouses, things like that. So I think you'll really enjoy that life and relationships section as well. We're about helping you to get mentally, physically, spiritually, and relationally fit. So that's what our videos are about. That's why we have so many different sections of videos. We want to help you to, we want to save souls, grow souls, and thrive souls. We want you to thrive in life and have purpose in life. So be sure yes. to check our stuff out. And finally, when you go to the homepage, I know I have Jazz standing here for a long time. She's used to it. She's done pageants. She knows to stand and smile and look pretty. Um, so on our homepage, uh, we have our social media links at the top and the bottom of the page, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, follow us and like us. And then YouTube, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube. Our handle is James and Jazz. What else we got, babe? Yes. If you scroll down to the bottom of our website, you can <clears throat> sign up for our email subscriber list to be in the know about any exciting news coming up. And right next to that, is a section if you'd like to book us to speak at maybe a church or a conference or a school, yep. whatever you have in mind, give us some information and we'll get back to you. Yep. Additionally, at the top of our website, jamesandjazz.com, there is a tab that says donate. Obviously, we truly appreciate your, your prayers mm -hmm. in partnering with us. If you'd like to go another step to partner with us and financially contribute, we would be so grateful. Obviously, no pressure and no obligation. But we put out all these videos for free just yeah. because, like James said, we want you to be fit in every area of your life. Yeah. And there are many different video topics that we have to cover. And yeah. we want to just keep helping you grow and thrive in every area of life. So if you yeah. would like to contribute financially, feel free to go to jamesandjazz.com. Click on that Donate tab. And there will be information regarding how you can donate via PayPal, Venmo, or Patreon. Yeah. And, and sponsorships, by the way, are what got us the bench, or what yes. got us the dumbbells, or what got us the great sound, the lighting, all that good stuff. So that makes our videos yes. better for you. So Yes, and we want them to be the best quality mm -hmm. that we can make them. And we appreciate every single one of you who has contributed. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts. And finally, the last thing I want to mention is the new tab on our website that says courses. Yes. So for all of you Christian ladies out there, check out my online school for Christian ladies about relationships. So go check it out. I won't explain it now, but yeah. we just appreciate y'all. Thank you for tuning in. Get yourself some monkey feet and let's bring those leg workouts at home to the next level. I'm sure in the future we will be bringing videos using monkey feet possibly at the gym. Yeah. Um, for right now we just wanted to unpack these amazing products that just came in and yeah. quickly research some exercises to show you 
That way we can get this video uploaded right away so you can order your monkey feet yeah. and get those legs toned for summer. And stay tuned because next Wednesday we will have monkey feet abs and we're also going to get a little bit of obliques in there. So uh, stay awesome. tuned for next week. We're going to have more monkey feet stuff. So make sure you get yours ordered. These are great. They have great padding in here. So it's not, doesn't, doesn't bother your legs. It's yeah. really thick padding. So I think y'all will love these. It's going to be worth your purchase. So make sure to message us and let us know when you got them because I think you're going to love them. Yes. All right, take her easy. We love y'all.